Hi friends, I am Avinash. Today I would like to discuss about ratio and proportion. It is the main topic in quantitative aptitude. First of all, I would like to discuss about ratio. Ratio is defined as it compares. Two or more things of same kind. For suppose if A comma B are two ratios, it can be represented as A is to B or a by B. Any notation we have to follow. Here, three types are to be present in this ratio. First one is duplicate ratio. In this duplicate ratio, the first one, if x comma y are two numbers, the ratio will be the duplicate. The, the, that means the duplicate ratio will be x square is to y square that means square of the these quantities take an example 3 comma 4 are two numbers the duplicate ratio will be simply square of these numbers 3 square is to 4 square that means 3 square 9 4 square 16 Next one is subduplicate ratio. Here, if x comma y are two numbers, then the subduplicate will be root of these numbers. Here x comma y it can be root x root y. Take an example if 9 comma 25 are two numbers then the subduplicate will be root 9 is to root 25 that means root 9 means it can be 3 square is to 5 square root square get cancelled that means 3 is to 5 next one is compound ratio in this compound ratio we have to multiply two or more ratios that means if a comma b are one ratio c comma d are another ratio then compound ratio simply multiplier AC is to BD that is here it can be multiplied and then after B and D are multiplied next one is proportion proportion is defined the equality of two ratios simply called proportion for example here a comma b and c comma d are the two numbers it can be represented as a is to b equal to c is to d or a by b equal to 
c by t both the notations have to be correct if we have cross multiplication of this that means a into d is equal to b into c here a into d the product of extremes will equal to the product of middle terms here the properties are to be there first one is inverse endo a is to be equal to c is to d that means the inverse endo will be it can be reverse that means b is to a equal to d is to c next one is alternando if a is to b equal to c is to d the alternando will be a is to c related to b is to d that means it can be changed next one compound that means compound means is simply added if a is to b equal to c is to d the first term will be added that means a plus b is to b related to c plus d is to d next one dividendo in this dividendo that means subtraction if a is to b equal to c is to d the dividendo will be a minus b is to b related to c minus d is to d next one is compound and dividend that means both addition and subtraction a is to b equal to c is to d it can be added first and then subtracted similar manner it can be added first and subtract Thank you friends for watching this video. Please subscribe my channel.